Happy Wednesday, everyone, and welcome to what may be the hottest day of the week. And I say of the week because we had some pretty hot days back in June and early July. It's going to get hot again towards next week, but today some areas getting close to 100 degrees or more this afternoon, especially as we look at the Klamath River Valley in Siskiyou County in particular. That's one of those spots that does get a little toastier as we go throughout the day. So yes, hot conditions, mainly courtesy of that high pressure out off the coast and that high pressure a little further to the south. That combination with clockwise flow bringing a lot of warm air into our area. Also very dry air, so a lot of concern over really the next week and really over the month of July in general. A lot of concern when it comes to fire danger. Now, we do have a bit of a change on the way as we go over the next couple of days. This right here will try to move on through. Low pressure off to the north in the Gulf of Alaska, as it usually is, makes it just close enough. As we get into the day on Thursday, we go from the ridge of high pressure to a very light trough of low pressure. Low pressure is still pretty far off to the north. It's going to be completely dry out there, but we do have a slight chance for some thunderstorms and cooler temperatures. And when I say cooler, it's still above average temperatures, it's just a lot cooler than what we're going to see today as we get into the day on Thursday. Keep on going through in the next week. High pressure builds back in, low pressure moves on out. And outside of that slight chance of thunderstorms, and with that, the potential for some showers, if they even pop up at all, and for the time being, the chance is slight, we stay hot and dry through next week. We can look at this another way. Essentially, it's very clear skies out there. You got to go all the way off to the north up in Alaska to find anything coming down as shower activity or further off on the other side of the Rockies, North Dakota, South Dakota. It's tend to see that from time to time. Now, as we look through our area, very hot, very dry and a little bit of fog for the coast. As is typical this time of year, we do have fog developing right around that corner between about Curry County and Coos County and a little further to the south near Crescent City. That's about it for today. So we'll go through the day with your pinpoint forecast, clear skies. Keep on going through Wednesday into Thursday though, and then we start to see some of those clouds develop not for very long and not much potential there, but we do start to see some moisture in the atmosphere. And when we see that, Thursday into Friday, a little bit cooler, a little bit cloudier, and that very, very slight chance for an isolated thunderstorm or two, and that's mainly well off to the east. For the coast today, 70s and 80s, with about 69 degrees for Crescent City, mostly sunny skies, a bit of fog early this morning. In the West Valley's temperatures mainly in the 90s, but triple digits are possible, especially in Northern California. So sunny and hot today, 99 for Medford, 97 for Cave Junction and east of the Cascades. Also pretty hot conditions out there, mainly in the 80s and 90s. Once we get into the afternoon, temperatures overnight dropping into the 50s. Now we stay hot for today, a little bit of a cool down tomorrow, and we'll keep that going for Friday. And we start to well warm things right back on up as we get into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday of next week for the Klamath Basin. That's the trend as well. Sunny skies just about every single day. We do have that slight chance of storms on Thursday though, and again, that's mainly off to the east of us. Northern California also very hot today. Now, most areas in the upper 90s, but would not be surprised if we had a few areas in the triple digits this afternoon, especially again in the Klamath River Valley. And as we look at the coast, temperatures mainly in the 70s over the next seven days. A little bit of cloud cover from time to time in the morning, sunny skies in the afternoon.